I've reviewed this before, the Flex Mini 2.5G, and this has worked really well for many of my mini PC projects, and at $49, I still think this is a great deal for a managed 2.5 gig switch. It only has five ports, but for some people, that may be enough. But now Unify has released a few more switches, including the Flex 2.5G PoE. Now this one's interesting because we have a 10 gig uplink, and then we have eight more ports here, and these ports are also capable of PoE. We'll talk in a moment about all the different power delivery modes and maybe some weird nomenclature they've used on it, but nonetheless, this is an interesting solution as well because you have the option to power it over PoE or power it via a wall plug. Then we have the new Pro HD 24 PoE. Now this gives you a lot of two and a half gig PoE ports, a 600 watt budget and two 10 gig RG45 PoE. And I think this all fits really good into the new Ubiquiti lineup. Now Ubiquiti did send me these switches for review, all opinions are my own, so let's get started. Are you an individual or forward thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor, and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structured cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that'll get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. Now there's a couple variations of the Flex 2.5G. We have the $159 version, US pricing here, which has eight ports of two and a half gig and one 10 gig RJ45 combo port with an SFP plus. So that's either port, not and another port. You can use the SFP plus, you can use the 10 gig RJ45, but you can't use them both at the same time. This can be powered via a five volt, three amp USB-C and has no PoE, only PoE in to power it over the RJ45 10 gig port. Then we have the Flex 2.5 gig PoE, essentially the same switch, but 199, and has the ability to deliver PoE. But there's a few rules of how it delivers that. We have, if you're powering it via the RJ45 10 gig port, and you have PoE++, you can get 57 watts of PoE budget for the other ports. If it's PoE++, it is a 37 watt budget and 12 watts if it's only a PoE plus coming into it. And 196 watts if you get the optional AC adapter, which is another $79. Now, some of you may have heard of PoE plus or PoE++, but what is PoE++? And of course, I will wonder quickly, and my programmer friends might get this joke, will we end up with a PoE Sharp? Now, this is the help article on Unify. I'll leave a link to this that explains the different PoE modes, but let's talk about what the actual standards are. We have the IEEE 802.3AF, we have 802.3AT, 802.3BT, and these come in type three and type four variations. The common industry names are PoE+, PoE++, and of course we've now got a PO++, but that is not something Ubiquity made up. This is a few other companies have started calling it this, and matter of fact, for those that wanna be a little bit more pedantic, PoE++ is not in the IEEE standard either. It's just easier to say, so people started going with it. It's an industry adopted common word for this. And I think it's easier to put it on a port to understand. But yeah, behind the scenes, the PoE++, Ubiquity, and a couple other companies, if you spend some time Googling right now in January 2025, have started adopting that as a way of referring to the type 4 8023BT. And I don't blame them for having some type of easier way to denote which ports are which because writing this under each one and putting type 4 or type 3 under each port would be more words as opposed to looking and saying, oh, this is a plus plus or plus 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 port. And at some point, I think they may have to come up with something a little bit better. Maybe like PoE and the wattage next to it would make more sense to me. But uh, we don't really need another standard just yet. I just wanted to make sure people were clear on how that works and be able to read through here to understand all the different power delivery options. 
Now, as of right now in January of 2025, there's only two models I see that support PoE++. So all of my testing I've been doing has not been with the triple plus, but it's just been with the double plus with the Pro HD 24 PoE. Uh, they also do make a Pro HD 24, just a non-PoE version. Both of these do have the ether lighting in them, as will the campus switches that are coming soon. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit more about this model. This is the one I've been using to power those other switches. And this is a lot of two and a half gig ports. Matter of fact, all the ports are PoE++. As I mentioned, it does not have the triple plus, but it does have two ports that are 10 gig and 22 that are two and a half gig. Then we have four 10 gig SFP ports. Now the switch has a total of 600 watt for its PoE budget, but idled with no PoE plugged in is only 22 watts of usage. Also, it's actually rather quiet. So that made me curious what was inside, so I opened it up. And the plenum and the way the fans work in these unified switches, I think looks well engineered. You can see it's got some quite large heat sinks, and those large heat sinks combined with that plenum, really pull the air through it. And it even at the back of it, it isn't that loud. Of course, this will change in different environments as the temperature rises or as you have all 25 ports in use and you're pulling a higher PoE budget. But overall, I think it's well designed and I've not really had any problems in the past with any of the Unify fans or power supplies internally failing. Now the Pro HD 24 PoE having ether lighting, some people may think is a gimmick, but I still think it's really cool. Now this is not a long-term review because I've only had these switches for a few weeks, but I do like that the Flex 2.5 gig PoE is one, fanless, and two, has a wall mount. Those two factors make it ideal for sitting on your bench or sitting next to you if you have some PoE power needs and you don't want to hear some noise. I mean, the Pro HD 24 was quiet, but not 100% silent, so for people like myself that are, are sitting in a studio and don't really like ambient noise, well, that's an option to use some of these fanless ones like this. Now, what do you think of the Unify 2.5 gig lineup? Is it adequate? Is it good because we can start at $49? Or what are you looking for? And this does or doesn't meet the needs. Leave those thoughts and comments down below. I'm always loving to hear from you. Like and subscribe to see more content on the channel. Head over to the forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. Or just head to lawrencesystems.com where you can connect with me in many different ways and on many different social media sites. All right, and thanks.